validate domain in JavaScript series. In app.js, write a function validate domain, receive three parameters URL, subdomain by default is false. In case you want subdomain in return, we set as true. In other case, if as false, then blacklist and array. If we want is any domain treat as an invalid domain, but in actual that is valid. In that case, we'll use blacklist. URL equal to URL, then replace HTTP protocol and www with an empty string then validating domain and subdomain name if validate there is subdomain and valid domain not in that case return false dot test send that url after that if subdomain is false in that case url equal to replace subdomain with empty list in that case return only domain host name then replace hash with empty string to replace slash in some case we found slash in domain then return url after that if blacklist then let invalid equal to blacklist dot sum d domain domain convert to lowercase if equal to url if we match any blacklist domain with our url in that case this value would be true if invalid is true then return false after that return url let's see console domain name only validate sub.mydomain.com with subdomain subdomain here i passed as a true parameter invalid domain name sub.invalid comma space domain is a invalid domain and additional validation allow true and here is some not allowed blacklisted domains then another example with two domains domain name only my domain even i declare here sub but as we add here subdomain by default false that by subdomain not sign here with subdomain sub dot my domain dot com invalid domain false it's mean it's not correct that's why return false allow.com it's correct because not allowed.com it's a blacklist that why it's true that why our urls is written i write here as a blacklist not allowed.net and our url is not allowed.net in that case it's false i hope you like this video until the video goodbye